Good evening, Theo Trade. This is Corey Rosenblumen. You're watching the Theo Not the Video for the 26th of March, 2020. We're talking about the 20 EMA Smackdown. What is that? Well, it's where the market has pulled up in a mean downtrend back to a focal point. And that is the 20 day exponential moving average. It's right here. So when markets go full trend, they typically retrace. So a market in motion, we'll actually pull back to here. This is just a kind of a play for in out spreads or play for the swing trades, even vertical spreads or just short term tactics. So a market that gets overextended when it's well above this 20 day, and that's just roughly a month. So where is the price moving? How is this changing relative to a month ago? And that's your 20 day exponential moving average. I'm going to make that a little bit larger there, just for reference. So again, looking inside that for uh, reference, 20 day exponential, it is uh, moving on exponential customized. You can do as you wish with it and make it easier to see. So in a trending environment, the market makes typically higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows. And it tends to rotate around the movement of the 20 and 50 day moving average. It just gives us a structure. So for me, I like to buy stocks or put on spreads in a stock that has retraced or pulled back toward the 20 day exponential. And you can trail stops if you wish or structure out any type of risk management strategy on a break under the 50. And that's your roughly two and a half months of time. Many, many examples we've talked about over the last really few years and months would be Southern Company, stocks that are strong, keep getting stronger, and they are contained. Think of this like a rising trend line or a hand drawn trend line that keeps going. So if a market's overbought, way above it, a target, as then you can structure a spread or even intraday tactics, if you will, to target, as in play four, really away from a high toward the 20 day moving average, that becomes a trade that becomes a little short term parameter. Looking at Southern Company, we're not going up, we're going down. So each time the market goes away from, let's actually take off this 50, just to show what we're talking about right now in tonight's video, we're specifically focusing on the EMA Smackdown. And the 200 day simple is a good reference for larger time frame components, but we are not talking about that now. 20 EMA Smackdown, like WWE wrestling or different little competitive sports like that. A market that gets overshot or over tilted, over leaning. Think about a boat. You tilt a little bit far to the left. You have to push to the right and balance the boat and so on and so forth. A market that gets a little bit over its skis to the downside. And let's say you want to play a snap back or fade trade like a rubber band. Where might you target? The entry point's a little bit difficult because the market can keep going lower, but the target point is the same. And you can reference it as the 20 day exponential moving average. So any type of long call spread, this video tonight is mainly geared toward traders who like to fade, or if a market is oversold for three, four or five sessions, let's get long for a snap back rally. Or if a market's up three, four or five sessions in a row, you might want to get short or buy a put for a similar snap back rally. And the visual would be a rubber band. Pull the rubber band, bang, it's going to snap back. The softer you pull it, the worse, or not the worse, but the lighter the snapback. You pull the thing to the breaking point, snap the rubber band, let it go. Uh, if you're on your wrist or something, that's going to hurt. So in a trading tactic, it's not that much different. So the market's going to be pulled deeply to one side, smack. And that's where you can exit your in out spreads. You can exit your call positions or just long stock. When the market targets, tests, touches, interacts with the 20 day exponential from above or in this case beneath. So we'll take a look at that. And by the way, yes, you can also short into the 20, but that's for another presentation. So targets again on oversold markets are the 20 day exponential. Let me walk you through some of the candidates that have triggered and you're going to see some familiar names. We'll actually start with the S&P futures and you can see how that plays out as well. 
We haven't gone near, or I guess haven't officially touched the 20-day exponential since, what was the exact date there? Uh, February 21st. So the market has been in a down move, snapback move, overextended rubber band snapback, and down, down, down. So now with the market pulling up, retracing up, that rubber band got tilted too far and they let it go, snap. And the market has smacked down to the up or the underside of the 20 day exponential. That's about 2640. John's gravity spot does come into play in the ES at 2626. So these are levels to be taking profits, closing out long positions and taking your risk out. Now that's your S&P. Some stocks that I'm about to show you are probably going to be familiar because they've been weak, 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 weak names, especially as this pandemic and the virus has taken airline stocks, cruise ship stocks, and multiple retail names to lows nobody really saw possible. But yet here we are. So let's talk Macy's. It has been overextended for quite some time. Didn't quite get the snap back today although Norwegian Cruise Lines did. And I made this point in my video earlier. And despite how this is Norwegian Cruise Line, it's one of the cruise ships like Carnival and uh, different components like that, hit hard by the coronavirus news and ultimately forced to shut down for a period. And Norwegian Cruise Line fell from 60 per share down south towards seven. But very aggressive traders can get massive profits by fading or trying to step in for a snap back rally. And if you did that, you can see the hourly chart and the framework that's quite deep on the sell off. But similarly, on the hourly chart, at least this almost tripled in value. So that's uh, something to write home about. And you can capture a piece of that on the intraday chart or maybe some spreads in out or vertical. So these stocks we've listed in prior videos or prior updates as being some of the leading percent gainers, I'm talking 25, 30, 40% and Norwegian was one of them, but it got the smack down from the 20 day exponential. That's one example. Gap, which is an clother retail name, didn't quite make it, fell a little bit short of its target. Limited brands got the smack down. Just a little shy of the 20 day exponential. Viacom, you might not trade Viacom, but it's there. And Win Resorts, that's a casino on the Vegas Strip and other locations. It, number one, bounced from, it's, I think that's for me at least, the most difficult part is capturing out that exact low. I don't think that's the goal. Once you start to get long, the goal begins a target. When you're fading a market, there really isn't a bottom in sight, price level, pivot, that sort of thing. I do prefer retracement trades as in find something weak and short it that it gets weaker. But I know we're not all of that type of style. So if you are a fade trader, keep in mind, if you're new to Theo trade or just new with this methodology and you like to short stocks that are strong, the 20 day exponential can be your target. You can price out spreads. That way you don't have to worry about, did I get the absolute low? No, you know, might not have, but you've priced it to the 20 day exponential. You can withstand a couple of down days because your spread will take care of that. If you're shorting the stock, that might not be the case. This move from 60 per share down to 40 and from 40, I know this is so strange to say this, but from $40 per share toward 80, that's actually 100%. So scratch your head about that. I'm scratching mine, but the concept's the same. Something deeply oversold, deeply pushed to one side of the boat, deeply pulled with that rubber band effect will snap back. And it usually will snap back to the 20 exponential for a minimum target. Carfax, show me the Carfax. It similarly had a snap back, but has a smack down. So this again is focusing on stocks that had the 20 day exponential smackdown, which is a target and that is to take your profits and run. And then of course, Royal Caribbean had the same outcome and others too. So that's the update. Here's, well, we'll look at an airline stock before we uh, conclude. United Airlines had a similar, I, I, I know, I understand, I'm with you. 
$20 per share, snapping back on our rubber band toward that 20-day exponential is roughly a 100% stock gain. Unbelievable, but that's how price works. And that's how traders can make profit if you are extremely aggressive, but do so with protected strategies like calls and ultimately spreads. And you can price them out, target them out, close them out with a specific target as opposed to guessing. And that target is the 20 day exponential. And we'll see how the market smacks down these prices going forward. As always, be careful and safe. This is Corey Rosenblum with your Theo Nightly video for March 26th, 2020.